If you want to protect yourself in the icy wastes of the Arctic, build a house made of ice, an igloo. Wherever wood grows, it's popular to build houses made of wood. There are timber-framed houses. There is the traditional architecture of oases. Likewise, the clay architecture of towns. It's best to build houses from materials available close by. This enables the houses to develop a natural and healthy microclimate. Wood, clay, brick, tiles, fieldstone, sandstone, sand. No, not sand. Yet here is a man who considers no to be an unacceptable answer. Karl Reinhard Seiss has taken a closer look at sand. I have learned that sand particles have to be glued together only at their contacting points to make an interesting building material. And he's found a very interesting adhesive, resin. That's how trees do it. They combine the single wood fibers to a resistant yet elastic material. It's a good idea to observe nature. Nevertheless, industrial support is necessary for its application. The Axo Nobel company has much experience in the production of polymer enamel. Epoxy resin belongs to this product class. In principle, the process is simple. The material is mixed and made into a thin film by means of an extruder. This film is then dried and crumbled into a powder. The material can be dyed in almost any imaginable color. Sand and resin are now mixed together. In order to combine sand and resin, the mixture is heated simply by means of a household microwave oven. The amount of resin needed differs as to the intended purpose of the building material. Just a small amount of resin is adequate for a good brick, as just a few points of contact are enough for a solid bond. Sand is mixed with a binding powder. This compound is filled into moulds. They are put into an oven. Some minutes later, the product is finished, ready to use. The result is called elith and can take on almost any shape. Your own fantasy is the only limit. The raw material can be industrially produced and processed. The actual bricks can be produced in simple factories in the required area. They satisfy all relevant building regulations. We've now been working more than one year on the development of this new technology. And we can now say that this technology is available. We will now go for the industrial use of this new application. In Arabia at present, buildings made of reinforced concrete and glass, as well as asphalt for the roads are in the mode. The modern age arrives in a westernized manner. Towns emerge that could just as easily be in America or the Far East. Of course, there are differences, because the inhabitants are dressed differently and because they still apply traditional arts and crafts in addition to their traditional lifestyle. Thanks to Elith, it is now possible to build from sand. In Abu Dhabi at the beginning of 2004, a presentation in front of high-ranking personalities from the Emirates took place. The participants were impressed and wished to explore the possibilities of the new building materials in depth. It can be produced on the spot, costs little and can cope with heavy use, which means that it is also very suitable for road surfacing. The material can be dyed in almost any color, which can eliminate the need for post-construction coloring. Bricks made of elith can be conventionally walled up with mortar or with a bicomponent adhesive. The formula for the adhesive can be manipulated in such a manner so that almost any type of joint can be produced. Polymer building materials offer fantastic possibilities so that even the desert can in time become green. For desert greening, we coat the seed with frozen foam. These dry particles are distributed over the surface of the desert. The warmth of the sun expands the foam, which gives the seed hold and humidity. The desert becomes green. Desert greening machines are still a vision, but we work on it. Dew descends on the desert and moistens the surfaces. The dampness seeps into the sand and is quickly evaporated by the sun. 
If the surface is solidified, however, the dew can be accumulated and thus create artificial oases. For this, elith can be used, or another material that is plentiful in the area, bitumen. The manufacturing process can also be applied in the field. The bitumen is liquefied and then cooled down radically. The pulverized bitumen, cold bitumen, is mixed with sand according to the required usage and then discharged by air pressure and a special discharger pipe. As it is released from the pipe, the mixture is immediately heated to plus 380 degrees so that the sand and bitumen particles can combine and is then applied. It can be used as a basis for road construction and repair and sections of the desert can thus be fortified. And so the story continues. If the formula is slightly changed, so that instead of making a film of the liquid, the mixture is sprayed into a cooling tower, a powder can be obtained that reacts to room temperature. The process can be observed on a laboratory scale. Liquid nitrogen is put into a receptacle. Then liquid resin is added. A powder develops. This powder is called cryolith. It must be cooled when stored and transported, almost in the same way as fresh fish. Let's suppose that we put powder on top of a fiberglass sheet and cover it with a second. Cryolith unites with the materials at room temperature. Due to this, we can do without microwave or heat treatment, yet still obtain a sheet within a few minutes with which we can build roads. The construction of a test track at the Axo Nobel complex. The method is the same as with the production of sheets or tiles. Additionally, sand is applied to the upper layer in order to obtain a better surface grip. After several minutes of hardening, the road can be driven on. This heavy goods vehicle has a total weight of 12 tons. Rapid deployment and instant use are the strength of this polymer technology. It allows the development even of remote areas quickly and economically. Everywhere where much sand can be found, elith and cryolith represent highly interesting building materials. Elith and cryolith offer the world's architects and engineers innovative and highly interesting possibilities.